at Dick Rochford here with a 750 with color weather radar. I wanted to show you this little rain shower popping in here, which uh, we can cover here with a bearing pointer and then show you on the vertical profile that it is indeed asymmetrical. It's a small shower, so it's not very asymmetrical. There it is, that's a rain shower. And it's about 10 miles in front of us. It extends for about three miles. Next ride is showing the same thing. It shows rain showers in the area, but remember this next ride is a, a strategic tool, and I don't mean that uh, in any other way. You, you, Five Papa Fox Trot traffic 11 o'clock and 10 northbound at 15,000 uh, blood. 25 Papa Fox Trot 10 and stroke me to Five kilo Charlie traffic 1 o'clock and 10 southbound 14,000. So just looking at this, the other thing I wanted to say about it is that the way yeah, we know, right, one five zero we don't, I don't want to say we don't care thousand. if we're going over it or not. We know the tops are in the thir right, 14 to 20 range. One uh, we know that this water is mostly below us, so that it's benign, I say benign, it's not building, it doesn't have any lightning associated with it, so we know it's a rain shower. It's a small one, we know that from this profile, and if we get in the top of it, that won't be terrible. It'll be okay. So my rule with radar is never fly in yellow or red rain. Contact approach one two eight point five five. It's not always dangerous, but it's a good simple rule to follow, so as not to get your uh, butt kicked by the weather, which is. Uh, responsible for many serious accidents in general aviation. Here in the PA-46 fleet, we have the tools, uh, but we don't always have uh, the ability. So we have the right to protect ourselves from weather, but we sometimes lack the ability. Dick Rochford, fly safely. Piedmont 6114, New York Center, climb maintain 17,000, altimeter 2994. Train off it. 